real magic of large language models happen when you integrate manipulate or use your own data with them in this video i am going to show you how you can use and integrate this polar's data frame library with local models with olama in this video we are going to first install this polar's on our local system and then we will integrate it with locally running model llama 3 or you can use any model supported by olama and then we will see how can we use our own data for data analysis if you don't know what polars is polars is a blazingly fast data frame library for manipulating structured data the core of polars is written in rust and available for python r and node.js it is fast and that is how it differs from rest of the lot like in numpy and various various other data frames libraries it has been written from scratch in Rust and it has been designed close to the machine and without external dependencies. It has first class support for all common data storage layers, whether it is local, cloud storage like S3 bucket in AWS and also it, you can integrate easily with databases like Postgres, MySQL and the list goes on and on. It has got an intuitive API and I will also show you a few of the examples where you can write your own queries the way they were intended. Polars internally determines the most efficient way to execute using its query optimizer and you don't even have to hint that optimizer at all. It also gives you a streaming API that enables you to process your results without requiring all of your data to be in memory at the same time. It utilizes the power of your own machine by dividing the workload among the available cores at CPU level without any additional configuration. Also you can use Apache Arrow which is a columnar data format to process your queries in a vectorized manner and also synced to optimize CPU usage. And by the way I will be using this term data frame again and again. A data frame in simple words is a two dimensional data structure that is useful for data manipulation and analysis with labeled access for rows and columns each column can contain different data types making complex data operations such as merging and aggregation much easier and if you really think about it most of these numerical representation of the data which llms use it uses vectors and which for our ease of use we can um, just sort of picture them as multi-dimensional arrays so that is why you can use your own data to convert them into this two dimension array or data frame and then it will be it becomes easier to feed it into llms okay so that said and done let's try to get it installed on our local system and then we will see how it works before i do that let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the VM and the GPU which I am using for this video. The VM is Ubuntu and the GPU which I am using is my NVIDIA RTX A6000 card which has 48 GB of VRAM. Also I am running Olama locally so that is why I will be using GPU. Let me clear the screen and also if you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices I will drop the link to their website in video description and I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount which will give you access to range of GPUs. So let me first create a Conda environment which will keep everything nice and simple and then we will do rest of the stuff in our Jupyter notebook. But let's first create the Conda environment. It is going to take a bit of a time, shouldn't too much. Next up let's install our Jupyter with the help of Conda. And if you don't know what Conda is, I already have done heaps of videos. So please check it out. Very, very handy tool to keep everything separate from your local system. That is almost there. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. And that is done. And now let's launch our Jupyter Notebook. And this is going to launch it in our browser. So it is opening the notebook. Let me go to new and notebook here let's close this tab okay this looks great okay so 
let me now first create some of the prerequisites which are needed which include polars of course and then just for this demo i'm also in installing pyro for numpy pandas and also olama and if you don't know what olama is olama is one of the easiest simplest tool to run models locally i have done like hundreds of videos on olama so please search the channel you should be able to find it easily and if you still do, can't find it let me know in the comments and i will describe it to you but it's very easy to install and very easy to run the models by the way i already have olama installed so for example if i take you to the terminal or my system and i do olama list i already have this llama 3 and 53 models running if you don't have them just simply do olama ol llama 3 and it is going to download and run the model on your local system i already have them so i'm not bothering about it again and i will drop the link to the spoilers and olama in videos description okay so let's go back and run this to get these things installed including polars numpy pandas olama on our local system this is going to take a couple of minutes so let's wait for it to finish and everything is installed now let's go back to the next cell and now we are going to see how this polars work now in this simple example first i'm importing polars and date time from python and then i'm creating this data frame as a two-dimensional array with rows and columns so i have just defined a dummy data there are few dates here from 1st of july 2024 to 5th of july 2024 and then i have just given it um, revenue values and expenses value and i am passing this as a uh, input to this data frame and then it is creating a data frame storing it in the df so let me run it and that is already done very very fast as you can see let's print it and then you will see what i mean by it so let's go ahead there you will see how beautifully it has presented our data in a tabular form which we had created the data frame here above so we have our dates for every date we have a revenue and we have expenses and there are a lot of things which you can do with this uh, polars for example if you want to select the uh, sorry if you want to select all the columns you can do that by simply using this expression which i'm going to write here there you go you see how nicely it has produced that it has also given you the shape of it rows and column which five rows three columns if you just want to select the shape like uh, revenue and date you can also use that in the filter let me run it there you go so now we have two columns five rows that is the shape of this uh, vector or two-dimensional array you can even filter it if you want and by filter if you read through it what is all what is happening here is we are just finding the date between 2nd of july to 4th of july there you go so we, it has written only three rows now instead of five if you go above there are five rows now we have three rows the shape has also changed okay so now we know how polars work and now integrate it with the llama 3 model with olama first up let's import our olama here sorry i just my copy paste is just uh, very hard in this thin link gui anyway so i have just imported olama and now let's grab our prompt so let me print the prompt first and i will show you what i'm trying to do is best explained by showing you so i have imported the olama library then i am just trying to say it analyze the financial data and then for the data i am iterating through the data frame after converting it into um, numpy now here it is going to give us an error because iter tuple doesn't work with the um, polar so we have to convert it into numpy array or numpy data frame so for that i have converted that data frame to pandas data frame and then i have used iter tuples to loop through it and create the prompt so if i show you the prompt you will see what i mean here so what i'm doing here is i am passing all the data here to the prompt and on the basis of my data frame i am asking it analyze the financial data and i have given it the whole data from the data frame 
in the prompt and then towards the end i'm asking it predict the revenue and expense for the next date and this is just a dummy sample values of course you can use your own custom data now i am passing this prompt to llama 3 model and then i am asking it to give me predicted revenue and ex uh, predicted expenses so let me run it it is running at the moment let's wait for it to come back and the model has returned let's print the values here and there you go it is just telling me what it is going to do here that i will first calculate the every average daily and that sort of stuff and if i print the whole response you will see that it has done the whole chain of thought here there you see so it has calculated and it is saying that i will assume a small increase in revenue let's say at two percent so it has just taken the whole thought here and then this is where it has given us the revenue and expenses and then the done how good is that and of course you can if you just increase your max output token it is going to print all of it but i have just kept it low on the purpose to show you um, how much it is printing and then because it's a model it you can control the output with using the uh, hyper parameters temperature and all that stuff so i hope that you now got the idea that how easy it is to do financial analysis or any kind of analysis or data manipulation by using these data frames by using um, polars Olama and then of course our good old friend uh, Pyro Numpy. So amazing stuff. As I said, I will drop the link to this in video description and also the commands, the whole code which I have used, I will put it in my blog and I will drop the link to my blog in video description. So you don't need no need to type it. You can just copy paste and run it. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.